Welcome, this is how to paint a yellow zebra tomato. So what we're doing is we're drawing this out first so that we can have a better idea of how to put this on a rock. We want to be sure that we're finding a surface that's nice and flat or a bit rounded. to place this image on. So what you'll need is acrylic paints. You can find these at Michael's. You'll need a cup of water, a paper towel, a plate or a painting palette, some brushes, and of course, a rock, something that you want to shape out your <laughs> painting of a tomato or whichever veggie that you have. All right, I'm going to set this aside here just so that I know what I'm drawing, what I'm painting, how to paint it. Okay, to start off here, we're going to find the colors that we need for this. The yellow zebra tomato is mainly yellow with golden yellow and some orange. So I'm going to just lay out some orange here. Look for a nice, bright, vibrant yellow. And get out my kind of really <laughs> is it tan tan yellow here and then yeah there we go get inside that nice bright yellow as well okay. so work with what you have we all don't have the same colors or the same paints as long as we get in a yellow and an orange that'd be perfect Another thing that we want to do is have green. So we want a nice green for the stem, right, where the leaves are on the top of the tomato. And then what I like to do as well is have a darker color. So I'm going to get a dark green so I can put some shadows underneath those, those leaves, make it look a little bit more cute a little bit more three-dimensional as well okay so now that we have our colors i think we're ready to start painting so first thing that we want to do is the paintbrush that we are going to choose to to paint with you know it doesn't need to just be one we can choose between them or use a couple of them so I like to do about three paintbrushes maybe two depending on what it is that I am painting so I'm going to choose these three a small medium and large Okay, you always want to wet your brush first. And then we're going to do a base color. This is acting as, again, the base. It's meant to just shape out our, our tomato here. Because the first layer that, that you put down, it's not going to be, you know, the very best color because we're putting it on rocks it we need to be able to build up our colors to get a vibrant a very vibrant tomato so that's why we're painting it this really light color first it's acting as a primer 
Yeah, we're using it just to shape it out as best as we can, like the tomato that we've drawn up above there. I'm trying to push in a little bit more paint. That way, when I start adding yellow on top of this, the yellow won't be mixed up with the dark muddiness of the rock. Okay, so we're going to let that dry for a bit. Acrylic paint takes, you know, a couple of minutes to dry off completely. You always want to be sure that you rinse off your brush really well because the acrylic will dry up your bristles and it will make your brush really hard eventually. So you don't want that to happen. Okay, and now we're going to go into the green. We're moving into a new spot because we want the that tan peachy color to dry so before we touch it again so we're working on something new we're going to do the leaves right up on top here it looks like i need a little bit more water mix it up with my paint get a good goopy amount sort of and then we're going to apply it there making out those little leaves the leaves they are wider at the bottom and then they get thinner as you move away and they become these little tiny, you know, points at the end of them. Okay. And for this particular tomato, um, you don't need to put like so many or so few. I'm going to round it up to about five or four. And this tomato is pretty big. So the leaves won't look as big. It's a large tomato, kind of small leaves. Yeah, it's part of one of the characteristics right of this tomato want to make sure it looks like it okay and we're just going to let that sit too so it can dry that way when we go into another color for the green leaves it will it'll be ready yeah it looks like the yellow is just about ready to go it's drying up we're gonna jump into the yellow part now Get inside this really vibrant yellow And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and pretty much paint all of it. That way we, we can see the color underneath. We're mixing them up together. And also the tomato is primarily this vibrant yellow. We want to be able to see the color underneath. Yes, but this yellow is going to really give this tomato its you know, familiarity. <laughs> it looks like I can push it up a little higher right here. Oh, see? Just like that. The yellow does not go onto the rock that well, or you can't see it if you were to just put it straight onto the rock. That's why we had that peachy tan color underneath first so that the yellow goes on that color and it pops out a lot more and better. Okay, yeah, it looks like we got a good amount there. Just really trying to add inside that top part. Yeah, look at that. We got both of the colors on there. We can see the tan and the yellow working together. Let's jump into the green now, into the dark green. We're gonna put this right on the bottom of each leaf. We're giving it just a little bit more character, right? We want a shadow underneath those leaves. So that looks a little bit three-dimensional. 
Makes it kind of look cute and nice. And it doesn't keep it flat. This tomato will look a little bit more lively. So however you made your leaves, it's as long as you put the dark green color on the bottom of the leaf. There we go, rinse out our brush, make sure they're nice and clean, right? You can leave them inside the water too if you like. They won't hurt the brushes. Okay, it looks like the yellow's about dry. We're gonna jump in to the orange. I'm gonna use a smaller brush. So I can try and make little orange lines now. So what I'm doing is I'm adding inside the curvature, the shape of the tomato. Making a line right here and then jumping, skipping a bit, drawing out the bottom, just like the image above us. See those pencil lines? I'm using the orange to make those pencil lines. Have fun with it. The main basic shape of the tomato is these kind of three bulges. You just want to shape around those areas like this for now. Make some nice solid lines. And then we're going to use a bit of orange to start coloring inside of the tomato. But I'm starting up at the top, up where those lines were, the orange lines. And then very gently just pushing the paint around. I'm not trying to force the paint everywhere or inside all the little cracks. I want to leave those cracks alone. Because then we can get this really nice texture. And we can still see the yellow. We want to be able to see the yellow. It's kind of like blending the two colors together. We're going to leave it like this. See that? Give it some really good texture. And... Yeah, we're going to let that dry for a moment, too. I think we can use a little bit more yellow. So we're going to go back in with the orange. I'm going to kind of clean up the bottom line here. Just shape it out a little bit more, make it a little bit darker. There you go, just like that. Great. And we have our tomato. Thank you for joining us. Have a great one.